Hi folks, I'm Marcus Oberman from Multi Hull Solutions Australia. If you're looking for a family boat which is fun to drive and loads of space on board, then you have to check out this Fontaine Peugeot MY5. Join me as we put her through her paces and I'll point out some of the unique features on board that I really like. Entering the cockpit from the bathing platform you have dual entrances. On the port side here you have a nice wide entrance for loading gear and on the starboard side a slightly narrower entrance right next to the swim ladder so it's easy for getting out of the water straight into the cockpit. That helps with the layout of the cockpit. You'll see this really loungy L-shaped sofa here where often on similar sized boats you'll just have the central bench seat. There's an optional cockpit table which folds up and you can store up into the bow. Notice the large engine hatches. So it gives you great access onto, into both engine rooms. And centrally here, there's a life raft storage along with gas locker storage. And this is your two fuel filling points. One of the benefits of a catamaran, obviously, is the stability and they're very safe to get around. So moving up to the foredeck, you've got nice wide side decks with handholds either side. A nice feature on the Fontaine Peugeot is this extended brow over the saloon windscreen. What this does is help keep the sun out of the helmsman's eyes and keeps the boat nice and cool. On the foredeck here, we have eight square meters of space with this lovely C-shaped lounge. So two full length sunbeds with reclining backrests. What I like about this four deck area is it's very safe. You've got this hard railing all the way around. Great for when the kids are up here and also is fantastic when anchoring. Yeah, there's three positions you can anchor the boat from each of the lower and upper helm or down here directly on the four deck. Also on the foredeck you have this huge storage area. So one thing that boats generally have a problem is, is the amount of storage, but not so on the MY5. Now I'd like to show you one of my favorite places on the boat, which is the flybridge. One of the first things you notice when you're up here on the flybridge is this fantastic hardtop with opening sunroof. An option at the factory, but a really sensible choice. Gives you great protection from the sun. Another popular option on the flybridge is this wet bar with drinks fridge, option for an ice maker, barbecue and rubbish bin. The flybridge in total is 16 square meters, which is fantastic for a 40 foot boat. So you have several different areas up here. This is the dining area and lounge. The dining teak dining table is an option. It comes standard with the coffee table, but I highly recommend it as it becomes your primary dining area on board and you get a lovely ventilation and if there's any breeze around on the boat, you'll feel it up here. Another nice feature I love about this flybridge is too often on boats you have the helmsman up the front on the flybridge while everybody is congregating in the lounge at the back. On the MY5 you have this lovely sunbed which makes it very social for the family. It has a dual function where you can lift up this backrest here to make it a comfortable seating spot when underway. A really great driving position here up on the flybridge with fantastic visibility, 360 degree views and you can see four corners of the boat including the port corner down through the flybridge stairs. A really comfortable driving position here with tilt adjusted steering your engine diagnostics on the right side along with the throttle and your joystick control 
and on the left side you've got your Garmin multifunctional display. This boat has the optional double helm seat, which I would highly recommend. Now let's go and check out the main saloon. The first thing you notice when entering the main saloon is this huge opening thanks to these sliding doors. A total of 16 square meters. This is a fantastic main deck, main saloon area. Highlighted by the aft galley, which has appliances such as a microwave or oven here, induction or gas stovetop, and dishwasher just down here. On the port side here, you have a large optional fridge freezer. Stepping up to the lounge area, the extra step gives you much better views when sitting down from the lounge here. You've got a nice C-shaped lounge, suitable for six people, and this table here is electrically, goes electrically up and down and converts into a dining table. Everything's repeated on the lower helm and keeps you part of the conversation and away from the weather. Okay, now let's go and have a look at the guest accommodations. A really comfortable aft cabin with huge queen size bed, massive hull window and port light for ventilation. Moving forward, there's the shared ensuite with lots of natural light, opening porthole for ventilation and separate shower. The forward cabin has excellent ventilation through two deck hatches, a double sized bed and fantastic views through the hull window. Having saving the best to last, let me show you the master cabin on the port side. Before entering the master cabin, we have this foyer area, which has the main electrical switchboard and an optional washing machine. This cabin is really geared for spending long periods of time on board with plenty of storage, good bedside table area, charging ports, and a vanity desk. One of the striking features of this master cabin, apart from the huge volume, is the massive hull window. And the best part of all is you can enjoy it from your queen size bed. It's worth mentioning down here on the lower decks, you have two meters of headroom, which is fantastic, again, for a 40 foot boat. The master cabin ensuite again is huge and you've got this lovely open shower with views of the sea and very rarely seen on a boat of this side is a separate enclosed toilet. So today I hope I've given you a chance to see just some of the benefits of this modern open plan Powercat. The MY5, she packs a real punch in terms of space. In fact, in square meterage, she's comparable to a 50-foot Monohulf Lybridge. She's ideally suited to a couple looking to do some long coastal cruising, living long periods of time on board, or a family. The best part of all, you don't need to be an experienced boater for the MY5. Thanks to the IPS drives and having all the controls at your fingertips with great visibility at both helms, She's a breeze to operate and makes the most novice boater feel comfortable. Practically when you're boating, you spend a lot of your time at anchor. So to have all this usable, livable space on board really means you have an apartment on the water. So I hope this video has inspired you to think about the MY5 and I hope to see you on the water.